welcome to part two, three, no, 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 four. Where I get part two from? So welcome to part four of this series. So if you're new here, basically I'm recreating some of my followers nail set drawings that they sent me through my DM. And here's a few right here. So if you would like a chance to see your drawing here on my channel, all you have to do is go to my Instagram, screenshot the template, draw on the template, and submit your drawings in my DM. And you can possibly see it here and on TikTok as well because I think I'm going to start doing some on TikTok because you guys send me a lot and I really want to get a chance to do like as many as I can. So I did like one or two on TikTok within the past week. So um, yeah, follow me on TikTok. I don't think I promote my TikTok a lot, but follow me here. We're like two million strong on TikTok. So for today's video, we're going to be doing, drum roll please, this nail set right here. Um, let's get into trying this one. I'm going to try my best to just amp it up with each set I do so each set can be like better and better. Hopefully that's what this challenge is giving. Hopefully. If you have not seen part three, make sure you go watch that before you watch this. But um, yeah let's get into this one so guys i'm not even gonna lie i picked this one because i really just want to try this airbrush nail design i've never done it before so um this will be a perfect time to try it now i don't know if this person drew this on their own but if you did listen shout out to you got an idea of how you pulled this off but you know I just had to give props where props is due if you drew this yourself. But of course we have our tips on. I got these tips from Amazon. These are the same tips that I always use. And we're gonna start with some white acrylic. So I'm gonna use this Triple X Core White Acrylic by Young Nails. And we're gonna pair it with some Young Nails Monomer as well. So of course I'm gonna be using my Kiara Sky number 12 brush. So all the fingers besides the middle finger has the white base to it. So we're gonna use this acrylic to cover all of the other fingers. And y'all already know the struggle with white acrylic. So let's just see how well I do with it. So with white acrylic, to keep it from running all over the place, I tried to drain the bead out as much as possible possible but not too much to the point where it's too dry that's what i kind of did here now you can see like sometimes like the acrylic starts to do that stick thing it sticks to the brush and when it starts to stick to the brush too much i just dab my brush into some monomer and then i continue to try to lay the acrylic down and basically here i'm just trying to pat and drag the acrylic all the way down to the free edge and um my acrylic starts to dry up a little bit and that's the only downside about draining your bead all the way a little bit too much but for me this works with white acrylic and i'd rather it be a little on the drier side than me running after it and you know ending up with a mess i just need a teeny bit more on the free edge to kind of complete this bottom half of the nail and then we can go ahead and start with a cuticle bead I'm definitely going to keep this in real time so y'all can see. But usually with white acrylic, I'm having to like chase after it. But I am not doing bad with this. I'm really surprising myself right now. Alrighty. Now the cuticle bead. Now this one cannot be runny, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a smaller bead and we're gonna drain it. And then I'm just gonna place it here, push it up, and then kind of pat the rest down as I normally do with any other bead, but with this white acrylic, I'm just like super cautious. We didn't do too bad. I'm just 
going to do a voiceover for the rest of the acrylic application. But as for this one, I didn't drain this one. So this one was a little bit more runnier than I would have liked. I think you can actually see it. But it's really not anything that I can't handle at this point. I'm really trying to keep both sides tucked in on the nail so it's not dripping off of the side. So I'm just going side to side, swiping side to side, excuse me on the nail making sure nothing is dripping off you want to have complete control over your acrylic basically but sometimes you know white acrylic makes this so hard which i know for a beginner like it's aggravating because i know when i was first dealing with acrylic i refused <laughs> to use white acrylic like it was the devil to me I'm getting like the hang of it now, really. Like the more you use it, the more you get used to it. But it's still something that I rather not use at all. I'm not even gonna lie. You can see this cuticle bead right here. It's kind of running off on the side. It's getting away from me and like I'm trying to hurry up and clean up both sides a little bit, but you know, we end up getting it under control. So don't feel discouraged if you're struggling with white acrylic because so am I. And now for the middle finger, y'all see we have a French tip. And for the nude part, I'm gonna be using this classic nude by Valentino. This is one of my absolute favorite nudes to use. I'm gonna pick up kind of a medium size bead, if you will. That's a little bit bigger than medium. And then place it right here in the middle where I would want my French cut. And this is gonna be a little bit thicker than what I wanted it to be, but it's okay. I'm gonna flatten it out up here at the top and then shape it into that French shape. It's a little bit more acrylic than what I wanted on here, so I might take some off <laughs> like that. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just gonna take that little bit off. Ooh. And then I'm gonna try to form this into a French. And I'm gonna shape that up a little bit more with my hand file, but I'm just gonna fill, fill in this top piece up here. I'm not 100% satisfied with this, but I'm just gonna go ahead and shape it up. I think it's gonna look a little better once I shape it up with my file. And I am, of course, using my 80 grit Panna file. I wish I would have brought it down a little lower, so maybe I shouldn't have taken a little extra chunk off, but I mean, we're still gonna go with this. It's not bad. So turning it to the side, that's how thick it is, but we're gonna debulk after I do my little marble at the bottom. So to do this marble, I'm just gonna use some gel and then we're gonna cap that off. So I'm gonna start off with some blue gel paint here. And I'm just gonna use it to outline the French line first. And then I'm going to cure that. And then I'm gonna take some Beatles Blooming Gel, dab this all over. We're gonna do one coat down here and we're just gonna use this to help with our marble effect. Now you don't have to use Blooming Gel, but I feel like the Blooming Gel helps it blend or bleed together. 
So now I'm going to take some blue and I'm going to need more blue. Let's get some more straight out the pot. And I'm just going to do lines of blue here and there. Don't want to do too much. And then we're going to do lines of white. And then I'm going to take a dotting tool and just like swirl them into each other just like that. And then I'm going to cure this masterpiece. So this right here was a huge mistake on my part. And y'all about to catch me do it in real time. So after I did the marble and I cured it, what should have happened was I should have put a top coat on top of that. But I didn't. I forgot that part. And yeah, I capped it off. And as you can see, the gel is bleeding into each other. I was able to recover it before it really got bad. So now you see me putting top coat on it. I cured that. And then after I cured the top coat, I went on and capped it off. It didn't get too bad to the point where it started to mess up the marble itself. But that just goes to show you what happens when you don't top it off before you cap off gel polish but now that's fixed and we can continue doing everything the regular way so i'm just putting a thin layer of clear acrylic i'm using valentino's clear acrylic by the way to cap everything off i use just enough acrylic to cover the actual nail design with the gel polish and then after that, I start to debulk with my ceramic bit. Now, for me, I'm a little heavy-handed when it comes to doing French with acrylic. So, yeah, this French line in the middle is definitely going to be on the thicker side. So, I spend most of my time debulking the middle area of the nail. And I like using the ceramic bit over other drill bits that you can use to debulk because... It drills off an even amount of acrylic instead of like drill drilling off chunks. So in the end, like you don't have an uneven nail, if you get what I'm saying. Like it's not a whole bunch of ridges you have to deal with because you still have to go back over it and cap off the rest of the nail after you debulked a little bit. And I know from experience <laughs> when you take off like chunks of acrylic and you think, oh, well, I still have to cap it off. It's not going to matter because nobody's going to see it. It is visible after you cap it off. That's why I prefer the ceramic bit. But you guys let me know what you prefer to use to debulk when you're doing this French look with acrylic. But as you can see, I already capped off this French and nail. And I'm just gonna cap off the rest of my nail so we can go ahead and get started with our nail design. So now we're all capped and ready to go. But all we have to do now is go ahead and file and buff so we can get to our nail design. So I'm just gonna demonstrate with one nail how I file. And really, I just file on both sides of the nail. Then I file underneath. And then here you see me rounding out the side of the nail on both sides. And then we're hitting that cuticle area. And then boom, we're all filed up and ready to go. Okay, so after filing and buffing, this is like our little situation we have here. I do not have an actual, like that little airbrush, little machine thingy thing, um, the airbrush gun, I think that's what it's called. But we're gonna do this look just using regular gel polish. So I have the 
blue gel paint from Madame Glam and that needs some stirring so I'm just gonna stir that up a little bit it's been a while since I've used it and I did not stir it when I did the marble I'm just gonna take a dotting tool and just stir 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 just so the color is nice and even and that did the trick and I'm gonna use this detail liner from Madame Glam. So I'm gonna start with the heart. This is probably most likely not gonna be the same. Now for the most part, I struggled doing these hearts and you really can't tell because I sped it up. So you're not seeing the struggle clearly, but <laughs> yeah, I struggled a lot. I think for me, hearts is like a lot easier when you're using the dotting tool to actually do the heart. But since I'm not filling in this heart, it didn't make sense to use a dotting tool. I actually only need an outline of a heart for this nail design. So I had to use this detail liner and yeah, acetone was my best best friend because I really had to smooth out these lines because they were looking a little a little rigid but it turned out good after I spent so much time on one single heart at a time <laughs> but um I'm actually gonna do two hearts on this nail instead of one in the picture it just had one heart on each nail but on some nails I did two hearts on some nails I just did one so it doesn't match exactly to the picture but it's still the same theme going on, so it really doesn't matter. The only thing I wish I would have did differently with the hearts was I wish I would have made them a little bit thicker. Towards the end, you'll see what I'm talking about. I feel like with a thicker heart, I could have executed this airbrush look a little better than what I did, but it still isn't bad. You know, you just live and you learn as you go. And yeah, now I know how to go with this style. But all in all, it was, it's a pretty easy style to do. So if you want to try it as a beginner, I would say go for it. This method is just an amazing substitute for this nail design, especially if you don't have an airbrush gun. I did not come up with this myself. I found a tutorial on YouTube. I would definitely link the video in the comments down below so you guys can find the original video. Um, but yeah, super, super easy to do. Definitely try this at home if you haven't tried it already. But yeah, now I'm just trying to finish up the rest of the heart nail designs on each nail. And then I cure in between each nail design. So, so after I'm satisfied with the way a heart looks, I cure it and then I move on to the next nail design that I'll do on that same nail. That's just so I don't mess up what I already did because I've done that before. <laughs> so learning from my mistakes, I cure in between whatever design or shape that I do on my nail. But yeah, I'm just gonna finish up with this nail and then we can move on to the next step. So moving on to the next step, everything is all cured. And now I'm gonna take some base coat and just put a drop of the blue gel polish in there, mix it in just to make like a translucent shade of blue. And you only need just one little drop because especially with blue, because it's so pigmented. And then I take a brush and then I'm just gonna outline the hearts with this. This will create the little airbrush look that I'm looking for. And then I take that same brush and outline the heart underneath and then both of the stars. I'm trying to remember where I got this brush from so I can tell you guys, but I, I really think I, this brush came from like a cheap Amazon nail kit. I use those little brushes for everything, I promise you. They come in handy. And then the base coat I got from Double Dip, but you can use any old base coat doesn't matter what brand it is and honestly already is looking so good there's only one step after this that we have to do to really complete the look but i really could stop here if i wanted to the design looks pretty finished to me already but on the picture y'all see the white streaks 
in each of the shades. So still using my detail liner, I'm gonna go in there with some white gel and just do, I did two streaks on the heart, one on the top in the arch and then one on the bottom. And both of the streaks are on the opposite sides of the heart. And then I'm just gonna outline the middle of the star with some white gel polish. And then that's basically it. I cured the white gel polish first, then put a top coat on top and yeah, we're done. So just to refresh your memory, this is the picture and this is what I came up with. I like it for my first time. I'll give myself a seven out of 10 for it. I feel like it would have been a little better knowing a little bit of what I know now about this nail design. I, I wish I would have did the hearts a little bit thicker. But overall, I feel like I matched the picture pretty well. But as we're coming up to the end of the month, this series is coming to an end. So let me know which set has been your favorite so far in this series. We still have one video left. So keep on sending me your drawings in my DMs and you can possibly see it in next week's video. So that's a wrap for this video. Thank you so much if you watched this this far if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my very next video